What is your favorite compliment you ever received? One time I held the door open for an old guy with an oxygen tube and tank trailing behind with a nurse and he stopped, looked me in the eyes for a second, and said it's women like you who are why fight not to be worm food. I was really touched by the compliment and we hugged. It wasn't creepy like it might sound. The guy reminded me of Willie Nelson with long grey braids and a leather vest. I walked into a Home Depot and a mission to get in, find my shit, and get out. A black guy that worked there came up to me as we were walking past each other, fist bumped me, and said shit we got some big dick energy over here. I'd never heard the phrase big dick energy before, I thought he made it up on the spot. I laughed so fucking hard, probably one of my life's top 5 moments so far. I used to bartend at an all-female bartender bar. One night a group of guys sitting at the bar were discussing animals that each of us bartenders reminded them of. This was in no way derogatory. We were all having fun and all of us were into it. Anyway, so and so was the lion, so and so was the fox, etc. Then I said, my turn, what animal am I? They told me I was the unicorn. All the other girls were so jealous. Once a good friend of mine messaged me could you please come to me right now I need to talk to you, or something along these lines. I didn't have anything else to do that day so I went to her. When I arrived she was sitting on a bench outside her house so I just sat next to her. She looked really very bummed and as I started to ask what happened and if I can help in any way. After 3 or 4 seconds of silence he told me that her mother died a few days ago. I was shocked as I haven't heard about it. Also her father was absent since her birth and the only family she had left were the grandparents. I knew that I was her only female friend at the time so I guess I was like a sister for her. She also is an only child. After she told me that, she suddenly started crying and she hugged me. Through tears she said I'm glad you came. I think these words will stick with me for the rest of my life. I have never felt so needed by someone as then. On my last day working at the elementary school I used to work, a kid asked me to sign her yearbook. I grabbed a pen and when I got to her desk she had her yearbook open to the About Me page, and told me to sign in the box that said My Hero. I put every ounce of myself into that job, and I was already struggling to hold myself together that day but that's when I totally lost it. When my wife and I first started dating, she would always compliment me, still does, and being someone who was single most of their life, and had self-esteem issues, every single one meant the world to me. She would just look at me, tell me that I had beautiful eyes, or that I pulled off the outfit I am wearing. To her it was just words, but to me it was going to work that day and not feeling like an ugly piece of shit. She'll never know how much she improves my mental health on a daily basis. One time a girl complimented that I have really nice teeth. As a teenager I was really self-conscious about my crooked teeth. I was raised by my grandmother, who had a low-level job in a company and made like 400 bucks a week. She also worked a weekend retail job to make ends meet. I have no clue how she managed to pay for my braces, but she somehow did, and anything else she could to make me feel like a normal kid. So it was nice to receive that compliment as a boost to my self-confidence and a reminder of the sacrifices my grandmother made in raising me. A few years ago, my mom and I were spending a bunch of time with my grandmother, helping take care of her as she was slowly dying and deteriorating from dementia. She never knew who we were, but seemed to enjoy our company while other people, my grandfather especially, would end up agitating her. One day she told my mom, you know, that boy, I like him. She had no clue I was her grandson, but she liked me, and that made me feel really good. Getting a smile out of her those last few years was special and I'm so happy I was able to do that. Young lady I've seen all day. I had smiled and told him thank you, and he simply tipped his head and walked away. To this day it still remains to be one of the best compliments I have ever received. We're German, so my friends and I played a game and one friend had to say one word that they thought of when thinking of every individual person. For me he chose Geborg and Heit which is a German word best described, 
I don't like the actual translations, that don't do it justice, as feeling 100% comfortable around someone slash in their presence, like that feeling you have when you hug a loved person, like a grandparent's hug, you know, the comfort and security you feel. It stuck with me because them I want all my loved ones to feel like that around me. I was a middle school, 6-8 grades, music teacher. After three years I decided to go to grad school. This one student, who was from a broken home, was a pain in my ass for two years. He received numerous detentions from me for disruptive behavior, back talk etc. during those two years told me at the end of the school year, Mr. K, I heard you're not going to be here next year. That's right, Charles, I said, I'm going back to school. Well, he said, things won't be the same without you. This was almost 40 years ago, and I remember it like it was yesterday. This is why I became a teacher. I made a difference in this kid's life. I like your eyes when I was younger me and my dad moved to California. We came down from Washington where blue, gray eyes were more common but when we got to where we were heading everyone had brown eyes. So I always had people complimenting them and asking to take a closer look since they didn't see it very often. With a little backstory for this compliment that I won't ever forget, my dad had passed away a few months before. I was working at a steakhouse and I wasn't feeling all that chipper. I walked outside to the patio alone just for a second because everything seemed overwhelming. I guess a co-worker noticed I walked outside alone so she followed me and asked me if I was alright. I told her that I really wasn't feeling all that happy because I missed my dad and she just said I think one day you'll be an amazing dad. Your dad is definitely proud of you and then she hugged me and I started crying. I don't think anyone had ever made me cry from something so nice before. I was recently told by a quite religious and spiritual colleagues that she's incredibly grateful to know me and believes I was put in her path to change her life for the better. All because I've spent a couple of hours teaching her a little about the stock market and how to manage her finances better, made me feel awesome to be perfectly honest, to think somebody could feel so strongly towards me for doing something that cost me nothing but a little time and I was just being helpful talking about the subject I'm interested in. Alright, everyone knows that men rarely get compliments, especially from other men. The first time I went to a pub. Some pissed young man came up to me and said, You are one handsome, good looking cunt, did you know? And then patted my head and walked off. I thought it was hilarious, but all humor aside, my ex-boyfriend, who I still keep in good contact with, told me I'm the best listener he'd ever met. It really was heartwarming. I was on a choir trip and so I had put on some red lipstick. Our conductor wanted us in makeup for stage performances pretty common in performing arts, and sat behind a girl talking with her friend during a break. Right when I sat I heard an threspian has. And her friend goes she's right behind you and she turns around and says I was just saying that you're so pretty, you have the fair skin, ruby lips, and raven hair, like Snow White. This was a girl that I thought was absolutely gorgeous. I was an insecure freshman at the time and to have someone openly talk about me so positivity without ever expecting me to hear it was just, wow it was so good. A homeless man once randomly complimented my calves. That was unexpected but nice. More honestly, my best friend told me she thought I was really funny and cool and really wanted to be my friend. I don't have a ton of a friends and have always felt like a bit of an outsider, so it was really nice to hear. We became very close. She unfortunately died by suicide a few years ago, but I think about that moment often and how much she meant to me. Looking back now as an adult in my 30s I realize how completely inappropriate this was dot dot but at my sleepover Christian summer camp we had really hot counselors from countries around the world, Ireland. England, Scotland, etc. and we always had crushes on them. There was one really gorgeous male counselor from South Africa and the summer I was 15 I remember he called me over to where he was sitting on a picnic table and was like let me tell you a secret and he whispered in my ear, when you smile you are the most beautiful girl in the world. Like hot damn I still think of that compliment when I'm feeling down. 
I took my cat to the vet a few years ago. She was scared to death. I came in the room and they said her heartbeat regulated and to stay with her until she was set to go. On the way out someone else's cat came over and started cuddling my leg while I was waiting to to pay. The vet told me the animals can tell I'm a kind soul and that's the nicest thing anyone has ever said. It's nothing too much but my friend introduced me to one of her friends over the phone. She was really cool and as soon as she heard me speak I quietly heard her whisper to my friend Oh my god her voice is so pretty it never really liked my voice and I hadn't really listened to it back since a few years at most too on recording when it was kinda squeaky so after the call I listened to it back and noticed how much it had changed and liked it. Simple but it boosted my mood so much. Talking about a patch that I embroidered onto a sweatshirt, all de cashier. Did you make that? Me, yes all de cashier. I thought so. It looks like it was made with too much love to come from a store. I was having a rough day, and was just feeling really low. I honestly can't remember the details almost four years later, but that comment hit me so hard. I wish that I could tell that cashier just how much his words meant to me and how I still think of it often. I, 17 meters at the time, was sitting at the dining room table having a discussion with my father, which was a somewhat standard one-way session of verbal debasement and did my general beta-style posture while he let his frustrations out about my being a disappointment for one of a plethora of things. While I sat, head down, my sister, 20F at the time unexpectedly came in to stand up to him in my defense. You don't even know how smart he is. The idea that my sister would care enough to defend me was unexpected, and the strength of her defense put my father on his heels. I, as a young adult, had to hide dwelling tears from my father at that time. It cracked right through my dead inside armor. This is one of those weird ones that I feel like should have skeeved me out. But I, guys, delivery was good. I was working in retail, in a work uniform, not looking any kind of special. A guy came in and asked to see some product at the back of the store. I helped him. It was just the two of us in the store, and right before he left, he said to me close to my ear, like a secret you have the nicest ass I've ever seen. And my god if that didn't do it for me. I don't know how to explain it but it didn't feel or sound sleazy when he said it. It sounded and felt sexy as hell. He did not try to hit on me further or get my number or anything, and I remember saying thank you and feeling all giggly and giddy about it, even though I would normally roll my eyes at some rondo telling me my ass is hot. The moment felt intimate and pleasant, and I can't explain why. He paid for his things and left. I still think about it sometimes and how that moment felt. At my best friend's wedding, his mom who hated me when we were kids, told me she was so happy we fought against her to stay friends. She said that she was so proud of who he turned out to be and that I helped shape who he was and that without me, he wouldn't have been able to be himself. It's the nicest thing anyone has said to me. When I was in my early 20s and a new homeowner, my husband and I rented a bobcat to drill holes for a fence. My neighbor across the street needed a hole too. So we went to dig them one. Another neighbor, an elderly man, watched me stand next to the auger to position it just right. He apparently told my husband, she's not afraid of anything, is she? This was 20 years ago and even though the man has passed away, his words remind me that I am brave. I had met a guy and we kinda started a friends with benefits relationship. Now I am a guy that loves kissing, cuddling, touching and enjoy slow relaxed play that includes chatting and just letting things happen at their own pace. He, I didn't know this at the time, had only been with a couple guys before me, both who were abusive, fuck and go kind of thing. He had never experienced things like cuddling on the couch, or sex that lasted more than 10-15 minutes. Never had genuine compliments or someone who wanted to do normal things like going to dinner or ball games. We had that connection on and off for a year before I graduated college and moved to another state. One day I got a letter from him and he basically told me that I was the first person to teach him about love and kindness, and that having a real relationship as a gay man was possible. He thanked me for teaching him his worth and that, 
Because of how kind and gentle I was with him, he decided to start therapy and was ready to allow himself to accept real love. He told me he would always have love for me and would always be indebted to me because I was genuinely the most beautiful human he had ever known. That letter came to me at a very bad point in my life and I sat down on the bed and probably cried for half an hour. It ended up being the boost that I needed at the time to start discovering my own value. I will never forget that or him. A few years ago I was at a concert in a smallish venue, Boulder Theatre, listening to Sam Bush. A couple of frat-like guys or douches were talking loudly during the show, and I and people around me were obviously annoyed. Me? on the cusp of turning 40 with no fucks to give, had enough and publicly told them, hey, keep it down, you are ruining the show. Then went back to the show, one of the guys said, are you serious, bro? And I glanced back with the death glare nodding. Shortly after they left through the side exit, a minute later, a lady came up to me with the business card and gave it to me. It said, you are fucking awesome. I have it to this day. It is most prized possession that didn't cost me anything. I used to journal a lot. I was sorta kinda dating a guy and he was extremely curious about said journaling, and asked me if I would ever let him read something on the less personal side. I said no, it's stupid slash shame stupid. I write poorly and it's embarrassing. He said, are you kidding? The way you read, the way you speak, there's no chance you write poorly. He ended up being a jerk for other reasons, but that really stuck with me in a good way. I went to a potluck when I lived in a dorm at university. I brought cookies, but by the time everyone was done dinner, nobody was really in the mood for dessert. The cookies were put on the coffee table and largely ignored. Two guys were on the couch and having a conversation. One of them, apparently just for something to do, picked up a cookie and started eating it, completely absent-mindedly. He stopped mid-chew and his eyes went wide. He looked at the cookie. He looked at his body. He said, these cookies are God. He didn't know who made them, so it was a direct compliment, but it's easily the best I've ever received. I was just starting my weight loss journey. I haven't told anyone at that point, but one of my dearest friends just looked at me and said, you know, you look really healthy. Not anything about looking thinner and skinnier or did you lose weight? But just her stating that I looked healthy without her knowing about anything was maybe one of the best or and motivational things anyone has ever said to me. Once a good friend of mine messaged me could you please come to me right now I need to talk to you, or something along these lines. I didn't have anything else to do that day so I went to her. When I arrived she was sitting on a bench outside her house so I just sat next to her. She looked really very bummed and as I started to ask what happened and if I can help in any way. After three or four seconds of silence he told me that her mother died a few days ago. I was shocked as I haven't heard about it. Also her father was absent since her birth and the only family she had left were the grandparents. I knew that I was her only female friend at the time so I guess I was like a sister for her. She also is an only child. After she told me that, she suddenly started crying and she hugged me. Through tears she said I'm glad you came. I think these words will stick with me for the rest of my life. I have never felt so needed by someone as then. A few years ago. My mom and I were spending a bunch of time with my grandmother, helping take care of her as she was slowly dying and deteriorating from dementia. She never knew who we were, but seemed to enjoy our company while other people, my grandfather especially, would end up agitating her. One day she told my mom, you know, that boy, I like him. She had no clue I was her grandson, but she liked me and that made me feel really good. Getting a smile out of her those last few years was special and I'm so happy I was able to do that. I was on a choir trip and so I had put on some red lipstick. Our conductor wanted us in makeup for stage performances, pretty common in performing arts, and sat behind a girl talking with her friend during a break. Right when I sat I heard an threspian has. And her friend goes she's right behind you and she turns around and says I was just saying that you're so pretty, you have the fair skin, ruby lips, and raven hair, 
Like Snow White, this was a girl that I thought was absolutely gorgeous. I was an insecure freshman at the time and to have someone openly talk about me so positively without ever expecting me to hear it was just, wow it was so good.